Okay, for each graph here, we're going to draw the velocity graph. We're going to calculate the displacement and calculate the average velocity. So we'll start with displacement. Delta x is x final minus x initial. So for this graph, x final is here, x initial is here. It's 5.5 meters minus 2 meters, which is 3.5 meters. For the other graph, x final is at 8 meters, x initial is at 6 meters. Which gives us a displacement of 2 meters. Okay, average velocity is, uh, algebraically, it's the displacement divided by the change in time. That's the total displacement over the graph. Um, graphically, it's the slope of the line connecting the f initial point and the final point, because that change in in height here is the is the delta x, and this run is the delta t. So um, either way, the slope of that line or the algebraic definition will get you there. So it's 10 seconds for both. So three and a half meters in 10 seconds is 0.35 meters per second. 2 meters in 10 seconds is 0.2 meters per second. Okay, um, if we're going to get though the velocity at each point, we need to get the slope at each moment. For the first 6 seconds here, the slope is constant. And that delta x at the beginning, we go up to 5 and we start at 2, so our delta x is 3 meters over 6 seconds, so our velocity is half a meter per second. In the second section, our um, uh, displacement is a half a meter. We go from five to five and a half meters. So our V over those four seconds going 0.5 meters That would be 0.125 meters per second. Both are positive because those slopes are positive. So we're talking about going from half meter per second to 0.125 meters per second. Uh, we don't have any direction changes here because this always stays positive. All right, over on the other graph, in the first segment, our displacement is negative two meters and the time is six seconds so the V is negative a third meter per second. On the other one our delta X we go from four to eight so delta X is four meters and the V is four meters and four seconds or one meter per second. So we're looking at negative one-third for six seconds, and then positive one. There is a direction change here. We can tell that there's a, a change in the sign of the slope, and there's a change in the value of the velocity here. It goes from negative to positive, so that means a change of direction the same as this means here.